Good morning and welcome to Hashtag Rise in Bond. I am your host, Glenn Lundy. I am a husband to one, a father to six, and the general manager of Dan Cummins, a Chevrolet Buick in Paris, Kentucky, the second largest used car franchise dealer in the United States of America. It is 5.30 a.m. and I hope that you are ready to rise and grind. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. What's up, everybody? It is Monday morning. I stink and love Mondays. I don't know about you, but I just absolutely love Monday morning. You can't even see me right now. <laughs> I'm messing with some other stuff, so I kind of messed that up, but that's okay. But it's Monday morning. Dude, it is literally freezing outside. Like, it is literally 32 degrees outside right now, today. Now, it is supposed to be beautiful a little bit later. It's supposed to be a beautiful 63 degrees. Uh, I just said degrees. It's supposed to be a beautiful 63 degree de- <laughs> All right, let's take a breath. <laughs> it's supposed to be a beautiful 63 degrees a little bit later today, and I'm really excited about it. I love these beautiful fall days. Uh, they're just absolutely gorgeous. So with that said, I had an amazing weekend. I hope you had an amazing weekend. I spent a lot of time with the family. I spent a lot of time like on Friday. I spent some time with my wife uh, strategizing, right? A lot of different strategies for what our life's going to look like now going forward. Now that I'm no longer uh, with Dan Cummins, what that's going to look like for us. So I spent a lot of time strategizing with the wife, which is really cool because it's always kind of been separate, right? Like it's always been I've gone to work her job has been to take care of the kids at home we've never really worked on things together I shouldn't say haven't worked on things together but work wise um, strategized and stuff on things together so that was really 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 neat I also got to spend some time on Saturday uh, in the hot tub with my kids which I love fall weather it's a little bit cold outside you jump in the hot tub it's amazing so I got to spend some time on a Saturday with my kids in a hot tub That's a rare, rare, rare thing right there for a car guy, right? To be home on a Saturday, um, hanging out in the hot tub with the kids. So that was an amazing. We also had an amazing, absolutely amazing service at church. You know, you ever have those church services where you're just sitting there and you're like, holy smokes, they wrote this sermon just for me, (laughs) right? Like everyone else can go ahead and go home. You know, there's uh, two, 3,000 people there. The rest of you guys just go home because this guy's talking to me right now. You ever had one of those services? That's the kind of service that I had uh, yesterday at church. It was just incredible. He was talking right to me. He was breathing life into me. I absolutely love, I love Southland Christian Church, and I love that part of my week every week, man. Just that refreshing kick in the, kick in the pants from the God Almighty from above. It's awesome, man. It's awesome. I love it. So, I had an amazing service, and then to top it all off, the Twang Sisters, the Twang Sisters came by, they decided that they were going to swing by my house, right, they were going to, they were going to swing by my house and take over, they did, they came in, they took over, they brought one Twang Sister for every kid that I've got in the house, and they kicked me and my wife out, they sent me and my wife to dinner over at Malone's while they stayed and watched our kids and played with our kids and had a great time and apparently broke into my studio at some point and wrote right there on the chalkboard, the Paris Twang Sisters rock, (laughs) which I agree, the Paris Twang Sisters do rock, so thank you, I can't thank you guys enough, thank you Pam, thank you Gail, Um, thank you Susan, thank you Vicky, and thank you Lindsay, because you guys really, truly, truly made our day yesterday, my wife and I got to go out on a date, wrapping up a crazy week, and so that was so stinking cool, and I'm so so stinking thankful, right, so now, that was my weekend, now there was this one moment, on the weekend, there was one moment where I had to go over to Dan Cummins 
and I had to pack up all of my things, right? I wanted to pack up my things. I didn't want to be a disruption in the middle of the work, so I figured I'd do it on a Sunday, and I had to pack up all of my things. And while we were there, we were waiting to get in, which was weird, um, but I wasn't able to get in the building, you know, by myself. I had to have someone come let me in the building, um, just be, not, not for anything malicious, but just because my alarm, like my fob for the door didn't work anymore, been turned off. So I had to wait. And while we were waiting, my son and I were walking out on the lot and we were walking. I was kind of walking behind him and I was watching him look down this row of Silverados, man. He was looking down this row of trucks and I just had to pull out my phone and I had to capture a picture real quick because as he was just standing there and he was looking, looking down this road, it hit me. It just, it just, it just kind of hit me that this was going to be a bittersweet moment for us, right? It was going to be a bittersweet moment. Like we were closing one chapter of our lives, which was the only chapter my son's ever known. My son's six years old. I've been at the dealership eight years. So we, we were closing this chapter. And to be honest, I'll say it wasn't like the impact on me on closing this chapter. It's been cool. Like I'm, I'm totally cool with the steps that we were taking. Right. And so it wasn't really the impact on me that mattered, but I started thinking about the impact on him. I started thinking about the impact on my son, the impact on my on 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 my kids, the impact on my wife. I, I started to think about the impact on them a little bit. And it, and it started to feel just a little bit different, just a little bit different. And so I'm going to dive into that. I'm going to dive into that and what we can all learn from that experience. I'm going to dive into that today. But first, you know, what we got to do first. Let's dance. Come on, baby. Ah, oh, there it is. Y'all feel that? Okay. All right. Cool, cool, cool. Hey, this is the part of the show. Welcome to the show. If you're new and never been on hashtag Rise and Grind, welcome. This is the part of the show where we're going to get moving. We're going to get our bodies in motion a little bit. We got to get the energy right. So this is the part of the show where we do a little dancing in our chair. We make sure we're sitting back. We make sure we got our coffees. We make sure we're ready to rock and roll. And this is the part of the show where I need you to hit that share button. That's right, people. Hit that share button. Hit that share button because I believe that if we can change the way people start today, we can make an impact on this planet. I truly believe it. I'm watching it happen. And sometimes all you got to do is hit that share button to change the way somebody starts their day. This is also the part of the show where you're going to say good morning to me, and I'm going to say good morning to you. Good morning, Chris Yancey. Good morning, Ryan Smith. Good morning, Trendy Trenda and Kelly Taylor. Good morning, Vicky Everett. What's up, Janelle Griego? Ray Hatcher's in the house. My man, Archie. Good morning, Beth Working and Scott Holbert. What's up, Tyler Miller? Raheem. Raheem Bahami. I've never seen that name before in here. Raheem, if this is your first time in here, welcome. Well, good morning, Benjamin Thompson. Good morning, Bambi. What's up, girl? Good morning, Aaron Hunt. Ferguson, I'm so glad to see you. You and I got to talk a little bit later today. Good morning, Jeff Baker. Good morning, Kurt McFarland. What's up, Chad Barner and Melvin Rodriguez? And but of course, my man, Josh. Oh, yeah, there it is. Good morning, Tony Tito Washington. What's up, Ken Trina? What's up, Derek McClain? Everybody's up in here. Tustin's up in here. Mitchell's up in here. I love it. I love it. I love it. All right, cool. You guys ready to dive into this, man? You guys ready? All right. Shoulders loose. Shoulders loose. All right. Let's rock and roll, man. Let's rock and roll. Golly, I love this show. Golly, I love this community. I love the fact that right now there's over 80 people that are up at 5.30 a.m. live watching this show. I also love the fact that there will be thousands of people that will watch this show throughout the day as they wake up in different time zones, as they wake up on different times. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love you guys. If you're watching on replay, please make sure to drop in the comments and let me know that you're watching so I can say good morning to you later also if you're watching on replay please make sure to hit that share button you're just as important as my live viewers listen last week we decided to take rise and grind offline and feed 100 families a lot of people have signed up we have almost every state signed up it's not a commitment you're not sending me any money or anything like that you're just committing that you're going to feed a family by christmas and we're going to get everything set up so if you haven't signed up yet go to glennlundy.com make sure you do that also if you signed up on friday i need you to go back and sign up again because i didn't realize my email had been changed with the change at dan cummins and i didn't receive it so if you signed up Friday, go back, sign up again today. Listen, 
I'm also excited to announce real quick that Elena Cardone, that's right, Elena Cardone, Grant Cardone's wife, best-selling author, like, mega massive incredible human being Elena Cardone one of the classiest ladies I know she's going to be on the show Wednesday instead of Friday I couldn't make Friday work for her schedule but she's going to be on Wednesday so make sure you tune in for that okay make sure you tune in for that listen let's go back to this kid real quick let's go back to this kid all my son has ever known my entire life is that dad sells cars or my, not my entire life, his entire life. All he's ever known is that dad sells cars. All, he, all he's ever known is that dad's gone in the morning, dad's up early, dad's gone early, dad comes home late, dad plays with us. That's all he's known. All he's ever known is that dad watches football on Sundays and we hang out and usually go out to eat, something like that. And, and, and all he's ever known is that his dad loves him, right? He knows, he knows that I love him. He knows that I love him and he knows that I love my wife. I'm, it's very important to me. I'm always very affectionate with my wife in front of my kids. I want to, I want, I want to show my son what it's like to, how to, like how to treat a woman. You know what I'm saying? I think it's really important. So I'm always affectionate in front of my, in front of my kids, in front of my son. And that, but that's all he's known, man. For his entire life, from the day he was born, literally the day he was born, what I did is I grabbed him and, oh, my firstborn son, and this is awesome, and made sure he was good, made sure my wife was good, and I went to work, man. I went to work because that's what I did, and that's all he ever knows. That's all he's ever known. And see, I've been able to teach my son some incredible qualities because of that. I've been able to teach him the discipline of hard work, right? I've been able to teach him how important it is to, to be absolutely disciplined, to work hard. I've been able to teach my son abundance. I've been able to teach him abundance. Our life has been incredible since we started working at Dan Cummins Chevrolet and Buick. We have a nice big house. We drive nice cars. So I've been able to teach him that there's an abundance in this world, in this existence. I've been able to teach the kid loyalty, what loyalty looks like, what it's like to be loyal to a brand, what it's like to be loyal to, to a person. I've been able to teach him honesty and integrity. There are so many things that I've been able to teach this little boy in the six years of his life. I've been able to teach him things. Now, meanwhile, in the last year, we've been taking leaps here on Rise and Grind, right? We've been taking some leaps. We've been learning about chasing our passions. We've been learning about defining ourselves. We've been, we've been learning about stepping into our greatness, right? We've been learning about becoming hashtag unrecognizable. We've been learning about being authentic and how important it is to share your, your testimony, to share who you are, to be authentic and to be real. We've been learning about breaking out of the mold. We've been learning about standing out in a crowd. We've been learning about making ourselves absolutely 100% uncomfortable, right? We've been learning all these things together. I've been learning all of these things with you. I got the discipline down, the hard work. I understand the abundance. I understand the loyalty, the honesty, and the integrity. And I've been pouring those things into my son. But meanwhile, I've been learning some new tricks. This old dog's been learning some new tricks. And I'm excited to share those with my son. I'm absolutely excited to share those with my son. And I'm going to share some things with you. So here's some lessons that I have for my son, some lessons that I have for me, and some lessons that I have for you this morning. Listen, number one, if Mike Brock's in here, take notes. Number one, the way you start your day, the way you start your day is likely how you will finish it. You understand? The way you start your day is likely how you will finish it. Now listen, this falls right in line with discipline. And obviously you guys are on hashtag rise and grind. So you understand some of this. And we all know the five things. If you haven't seen the five things that you must do every single day to change your life, go to glennlundy.com. The video is right there at the top. But the way you start your day is likely how you're going to finish it. If you wake up stressed out, if you wake up rushed, if you wake up 
and go right into negativity. You got it. You're basically going to end up stressed, rushed, and negative most of the day. It's how it's going to work. It's how your day's going to finish up. It's just how it is. Now, understand, there is discipline. It takes discipline to wake up and start your day the right way every single day. It takes absolute discipline. And I'll tell you, I wasn't ready. This stage that I'm in my life right now, this leap that I've taken right now, this opportunity that I'm going to jump on right now, I wasn't ready before. I wasn't disciplined enough before. I wasn't getting up. This show created my discipline of getting up at 4.30. I was getting up fairly early. I understand the importance of a morning routine, but I wasn't regimented like I am today. I wasn't the man that I am today. I wasn't starting my day every single day. Gratitude, goals, no snoo or no snoozing, not touching my phone, gratitude, goals, taking care of my body, and sending out encouraging messages. I wasn't doing it every single day. I wasn't ready, but I'm ready now. But I'm ready now. Thanks to you guys in this group and this show, I'm ready now. I start my day positive every day, baby. And let me tell you something. I end my days positive every day, baby, because the way you start your day is basically how your day is going to end up. Major lesson that I had to learn to get to where I am right now to be able to take the, the, the leaps and the opportunities that I've got ahead of me. You understand? So that's number one. I want to make sure my son understands that discipline. I want to make sure my under, my son and you guys understand the way you start your day changes everything. It changes everything in your life. You understand? Can you feel my fire? Listen, it's so important. It's why it's so important we blow this show up. It's why it's so important I spread this show worldwide because if we can start changing the way people start their day, we'll change this planet. We will absolutely change this planet. Listen, whoo, I get fired up on that one, baby. <laughs> can you tell? Number two, second thing that I got to share with my son as we go into this new transition, I want my son to understand how important it is to love people. To absolutely love people. Listen, Chad Morgan, my friend Chad Morgan, he, uh, I had posted uh, about the Twang Sisters, I believe it was. I posted about them coming by my house and, and taking care of my kids. And, uh, uh, and something that's happened in the last week is I've had an absolute outpouring of love. We've had so much love. Like people have reached out, thousands of messages, which I'm going to get back to hopefully today. People have reached out. There's been an outpouring of love. It's been absolutely incredible. And Chad Morgan said it best. Chad Morgan posted in one of my comments and he said, you are, you are seeing, I'm sorry. He said, what you are seeing is a reflection of what you've been putting out. <laughs> Think about that. Think about that. What you see, what see the things that happen or that are happening around you are a reflection of what you're putting out. Basically, what Chad was saying is, I've been loving on you guys. I've been loving on people. I've been pouring into people. I've been committing. I've literally committed my life to helping serve people, right? That's what I've been doing. I've just been pushing the love out there. And look what I've gotten in return, man. Look what I've gotten in return. It's the craziest thing in the world. I decide to, to quit my job. Here I am. My wife's about to have a baby any day now, right? We're going on seven kids. I'm the GM at the number one or the number two largest dealership in the country. I quit my job and I haven't had a single person be like, bro, that's a bad idea. Like, what are you thinking? Are you an idiot? You're stupid. Like, not a single person. It's been nothing but love. We will help you. We will support you. We are behind you. We'll do anything for you. We believe in you. You can do it. You can do it. You can do it. That's all I've heard. That's all I've heard. It's an outpouring of love. And it's because I chose to start living my life loving people. And I don't mean you can't just like people people not 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 you can't just tolerate people that doesn't work you have to love people love them holy smokes i'm running way behind i gotta speed this up i'm just fired up man i miss you guys over the weekend all right check it out number three become a person people will follow when you decide to chase your dreams <laughs> Mike mic drop become a person people will follow when you decide to chase 
your dreams. Ten years ago, I decided to chase a dream. Ten years ago, I actually was 11, 12 years ago almost, I decided to chase a dream. I was going to create a fr free poker league, and I had this tight network of church friends that I hung out with all the time, and I told them about my dream, and they were like, eh, and I was like, no, this is for real, and they're like, eh, and so I went ahead and created it, and I really created some some uh, separation between me and my, and my, my, my close group because they saw that the things that I were doing were selfish in nature. They saw that this league that I was creating was only for me. It wasn't for any good for the kingdom or for anybody else. They saw I was still a partier. They star saw I was still a manipulator. And see, they, they, they saw that I was not a person to follow. So when I went and chased that dream, I chased that dream by myself. That's how I chased that dream. But when you become a man of, with integrity, when you become a person with character, when you, when you start to get a servant heart right up in, right up in here, when you, get, when you get to that point, then you, can, then you become a man that people will follow when you decide to chase your dreams. I've decided to chase a dream, and I've got people coming right along with me. I got people that are right here for the ride. I got supporters. I got y'all following. I got y'all watching, and I love it. And I got to tell you something. I wasn't ready. I wasn't ready for this. Even just a year ago, I wasn't ready for this. Not that I didn't have integrity. Not that I didn't have good character. But I'm not so sure I had a full-on servant heart. I was still learning from Josh Cummins how to have a servant heart. I was still learning from you guys how important it was to pour into and love people. I was still learning all kinds of disciplines on the morning routine. You see, I wasn't ready before. I wasn't ready. And I'm not saying any of y'all are ready. I'm just saying I want to teach you and I want to learn myself and I want to teach my son what it takes to get to a point where you can take a leap of faith and people will follow where you can go chase your dream and people will follow you see i'm ready now that's right i'm ready now y'all better watch the heck out listen i want to i want to say that one more one more time become a person people will follow when you decide to chase your dreams powerful 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 number four last note mike brockway love god love god with all your heart son joel bryant if i'm talking to my son right now i just want to tell you joel bryant love god with all your heart man love god with all your heart listen listen god will protect you he will protect you god will guide you do you understand god will guide you he will he will whisper in your ear and push you the right way he will also shout at you at times and, let, and make sure you're not led astray. He will. God will close doors. God will open doors. God will lead you. He will protect you. He will shower you with abundance and grace. But you must, you must learn to love God with all your heart. Learn to love God with all your heart and learn to walk by faith. Man, I wasn't ready. <laughs> I'm telling you, I wasn't ready. I was like, yeah, man, God's cool. He's in my life. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I, I believe he's there, but you know, I'm going I'm to I'm go ahead and control some of these things myself. I think I maybe have a little better idea of what's best for me. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and walk by sight and maybe not walk by faith, right? You guys ever do that? Listen, I wasn't ready, but I'm ready now. It's so incredibly important, people. It's so incredibly important. I understand some of you are believers. I understand some of you are not believers. I understand. I get it. I totally get it. But I'm just telling you. I'm telling you right now. I'm going to tell you. I'm just being honest. Listen, the way that you start your days is, is, is basically how your day is going to end up. I'm just telling you. So you got to get a nice disciplined morning routine. You have to. If you start loving on people, people will start loving on you. It's how it works. It's reciprocal, man. You have to love people. You can't just like them. You can't just tolerate them. You got to love them. You love people, people will love on you. All right? You'll be able to become a man that people will follow. Become a person that people will follow when you decide to chase your dream. Do things with integrity. Do things with character. Do things with a servant heart. Listen. Listen. And lastly, lastly, and most important, that's why I save it for last, is you have to love God. I mean, absolutely love God with all of your heart and learn to walk by faith. And when you do, 
And see, all of this stuff was new to me. All of this stuff was new to me. I need you to understand. Not all of you are in the, you are not in the same position I am. Your life is not in the same place that mine is. I'm 40 years old now. I've been given many opportunities. I've been homeless. I've been in jail. I've been a drunk. I've been broke. I've been on top. I've been everywhere. And I wasn't ready. I was not ready. But now today I am ready for these four reasons. You understand? This is what I'm going to pass down to my son. This is the, how the legacy begins. I'm speaking to you. I want you to hear me. I'm not saying not everybody can do what I do because not everybody's ready, but you can get ready. You can get yourself there. You can get there. You just got to have the discipline every day. You got to love on people every day. You got to have integrity and character and you got to love God and learn to walk by faith. And one day you too, you too could be the guy in the box. The guy in the box with 100 viewers at 5 o'clock in the morning. The guy who's going to go chase his dream. You too can become that person. I'm telling you, I wasn't ready. Until last stinking week, I wasn't ready. But now I'm ready. Today I'm ready. Listen, I want to tell my son these things because he's an amazing human being. He really is. He's amazing. I absolutely love the kid. And you too are amazing. Each and every single one of you. Ray. Ryan, Tony Tito, my man, Tony Tito, AJ Anderson, Janelle, Trendy, each one of you, man, you are an amazing human being. Do you understand? Uniquely made by the God of the universe to be the absolute best version of you that you can possibly be. And see, you're already starting to move in the right direction. You are. You're starting to make. You're starting to move in the right direction. You're watching hashtag rise and grind. You're watching the show, which is incredible. It's changing the way that you start your day. And all the time, you're you're posting. You're posting videos and you're posting comments and you're encouraging others. And all of those things they have an impact. They have an impact on your friends, on your family members, on your coworkers. They're making an impact on everyone around you. It's made a tremendous impact on me. And I, for one, absolutely love you for it. You understand? I absolutely love you. Like I don't just like you. I don't just tolerate you. I love you. And if nobody's told you that yet today, I want to be the first. I stinking love you. Do me a favor. If you need more videos like this, go to glennlundy.com. If you need some Rise and Grind gear, go to glennlundy.com. And if you haven't signed up to feed a family yet, do that at glennlundy.com. Go out and have an incredible day today. Have an amazing, over-the-top, phenomenal, just absolutely hands-down best day you've ever had day today. And then come back here again tomorrow morning at 5.30 a.m. as we do it all over again on Hashtag Rise and Grind.